What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and absolutely massive news out of YouTube. YouTuber Boogie2988 has had what appears to be an altercation with Frank Hassel, a currently the platform YouTuber who is now uh, makes content on Gumroad, uh, in which he uh, brandished a firearm and discharged it. Now, it is my opinion right now that this is fake. Um, I think, I, but maybe that's just me hoping. So I like Frank, I like his content, but if he really did show up at Boogie's house unannounced and after he was told not to, he's lucky he didn't catch lead. I mean, I can tell you that, you know, if it, if it were my house, I don't think it goes the same way. Uh, I don't think that I give someone a second chance after I've told them not to show up and they do anyway. Um, you don't go to someone's house uh, in general unannounced, I don't think. This isn't even like a YouTuber thing. If someone says you don't come to my house, I don't want you here, you show up anyway, you're trespassing and you're subject to all sorts of different things, Castle Doctrine and things like that. Now the story, if you don't know who Frank Hassel is, Frank Hassel makes content literally hassling people. It's funny. It's edgy, it's dangerous, and I like it. Um, what I don't like is showing up at somebody's house if they've told you not to show up there, trespassing on their property and having a weapon aimed at you and fired in your direction or as a warning shot. Now, from what I understand on US law, warning shots are essentially universally illegal. This is a common misconception with people who either have their CCWs or just are firearms owners. Uh, it's a reckless discharge in a residential area. I would expect Boogie to get a ticket here. I would also expect Frank Hassel to get a ticket uh, for trespassing at minimum, perhaps other charges. Um, if this is real, it's so hard to believe uh, because Boogie has created fake satire content for a long time. He's done a fake series with McJuggernuggets and McJuggernuggets created uh, fake content. This is a win-win for both of them from a PR perspective uh, in terms of uh, press. Uh, certainly a lot more people are going to find out who Frank Hassel is. Boogie is literally trending on, on Twitter right now. Um, but for the most part, people are universally uh, admonishing it. Now, last night, you know, Frank has been kind of trolling Boogie for a while now, for several weeks. He then put out a tweet that said, yeah, I showed up in, uh, I'm in Fayetteville, which is where Boogie lives. I don't think I'm divulging anything there. He's been very public about that. And uh, in a way, that is kind of a veiled threat when you say, hey, I'm going to show up at your house. This is going to be like the worst day of your life or something like that. Then you show up anyway. To me, I'm still leaning 60-40 that this was staged, but I mean, it's the event happened. You can see, here you go, Frank Hassel, Boogie obviously bearing down, uh, finger on the trigger too. Uh, not very good trigger discipline, although he's very close. So, I mean, it's interesting uh, to me. The idea that, you know, th this may be taking the meme a little too far, Boogie himself, you know, Frank Hassel did show up at Boogie's house. Boogie did brandish and discharge, at least according to Keemstar. How was Keemstar involved? Because, of course, Keemstar was involved. He had hosted some sort of debate or, or uh, conversation between Frank Hassel and Boogie2988 last night. And this morning, he put out a video saying how he was doing, being the better man by uh, not releasing the uh, interview because Boogie became unhinged in it. Now, I don't, I mean, I'm not going to exactly give good guy Keem credit there. You don't get good guy points when you basically say, well, this is why I'm not releasing it because Boogie became unhinged and did all this terrible stuff, but I'm doing him a huge favor by not releasing it. Nah, I mean, half credit, maybe participation trophy, perhaps. Um, the debate then, of course, now Keemstar has said that he's going to drop the debate. Anyway, he's going to release the footage anyway. Uh, so Keemstar obviously playing a part here in playing this up as of 32 minutes ago, saying Frank Castle posted a pic of him at Boogie's house and confirmed in a leaked DM that
that Boogie did fire at him. Now, this isn't leaked. I'm sure this is Frank replying to him. I've also DM'd Frank because he's actually been on my show before. Uh, you can see this is obviously Boogie's house. Um, and, dude, Boogie just fired at someone, and people are saying it was you. It was. He's a cat, we'll say. Uh, if this is real, you know, I'm going to continue to update this story. So if you want, uh, there is a red subscribe button right below the video. Make sure you click that so you get all of the latest updates. I'm sure there will be more throughout the night. And as the story develops, I will update uh, with uh, backup videos, I suppose. I'm not expecting much to come out of this interview. I think for a long time, Boogie has been in a bad place mentally. Uh, I think that, you know, to me, I'm hoping this is fake. I have not seen Boogie uh, reply and say anything about this. And now this picture has basically become a meme, you know, and I can say again, as somebody who I used to be friends with Boogie, you know, I feel like he threw me under the bus. I don't really carry that with me. I don't really care. Um, I know that he's basically been mentally unstable for the past several years. Uh, so I would absolutely believe that this might be real. But I would also, I'm leaning towards it being fake just because I, I think because I kind of want it to be fake, you know? Uh, I think this is, Boogie's going to open himself up to all sorts of liabilities. Uh, Frank, obviously not good uh, in a situation. Um, you know, showing up at somebody's house if they've told you not to is going to catch you a charge for sure. But to see how blatant... Um, Frank is about it saying I took it and made him do like I don't think this is why I think it's staged I I, I do um, now most of the people involved here are you know on boogie side because I think as content creators you know and anybody in the public eye and honestly anybody period you know you don't want people showing up at your house uninvited, especially after you've had a, a clear conversation with them to say they're not welcome. Um, according to Arkansas law, uh, you know, Frank is lucky he didn't catch lead there. So I'm watching things as they develop. I hope that makes sense. You know, essentially, there's been this kind of troll back and forth. Then there was a debate last night on, on drama alert or whatever, which will be coming out soon. Then allegedly today, Frank, I mean, he clearly was there. I would say allegedly uninvited in which had uh, Boogie with his revolver out there. This is a crazy situation. If it's real, I'm really glad everyone's okay, um, but also not okay to show up at content creators' homes. Absolutely insane. Make sure you subscribe and follow closely here as notifications won't be coming out for the rest of the day, but I will update this story as things develop. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.